keen followers of this channel might recognise these printed parts here uh, from the video I did about having uh, rotated pockets where every other pocket was facing the other way. Um, this is a different idea, this is where all the pockets are the same way but all we have is basically an extra lane along the front where marbles can travel freely without any pockets. Um, this is useful for potentially the MMX where we need to cope with a thud scenario but also potentially for the MMX T, the uh, touring model which is being discussed in the Discord just now, where we anticipate a lot more marbles coming through the lift, a much more simplified lift system which is going to provide a huge amount of marbles so we never run out. That will necessitate a divider that can cope with that flood scenario all the time. In fact, it will be a feature of that divider that we can use, we can utilise lots of marbles all the time and recycle them through the same lift scheme. Anyway, this is an attempt to characterise how this works, uh, how fast it can work, how many marbles it can get through, how good is it at catching marbles. Uh, we'll try all of those things. So we've lined up uh, 50 marbles in the chute, and you can see that we slope towards the pocket slightly this way, just the thickness of uh, basically one brick, uh, or you know one third of a brick, uh, versus the other side. And then in this direction, we're sloping about. There we go, one, one full brick in that direction over six pockets. So uh, now we've got them all lined up. Fire these through now and see how it performs. So of those 50 marbles, uh, 9 made it all the way through, the rest all got eaten by the pockets. And just timing it there, it took about 2 seconds for those 50 marbles to work their way you know, from the front to the last one to reach the front. So about 25 marbles per second when it's free flowing like that. And that's from a standing start. So I don't think this is going to have any issues uh, dealing with say 25 to 30 marbles per second coming through. Uh, also it seemed to be quite successful, most of the marbles have ended up being eaten, which is what we want. So that was with a full flow of marbles, but we won't always have that. Maybe we'll only have a few at a time. So it'll be quite interesting to see how it reacts to individual marbles coming down now. So let's try that. If we just take a look here, and these are completely empty, and I one run from the very top of the rider, coming through at speed. On that side, it gets eaten. On the other side, it goes all the way through, unless it hits an edge. So might be preferential then if the entire feed tray was angled towards the pockets so that even if it comes through on the other side of the feed at high speed it's still going to hit those pockets. I notice there even at high speed it's hitting the pockets and just firing right over the top so it may also be necessary to slow the marbles down right before they enter the divider. So from halfway that gets eaten. Yeah, that skips a few and that gets eaten. I think there's very small margins in it. So yeah, I think maybe there'll need to be some sort of corner or something to slow the marbles down a little bit before they enter. Obviously when they were all backed up behind each other, they were moving slow enough um, that they could all get caught. But I think if we run this through, yeah, most of those went right through at high speed. So high speed marbles uh, high flow marbles, fine. High speed marbles, hmm, not so much. We'll need to do something to slow them down. But I think I'll keep them at the the the, the, uh, the tray at this sort of angle to make sure the marbles are getting directed towards the pockets. So next order of business, we've emptied all of these, and now we're going to use these uh, little bits of blue tack with a bit of leg on the end to block up all of these holes at different heights, so that we can test how it works with marbles in all the pockets. So now using these little bits of Lego and blue tack, I've just blocked up all the holes at different heights to represent all the different heights that the uh, divider might have to cope with. And now we'll fire the same marbles through and see how it reacts. So 
So that seemed to go quite well. Uh, as before in my previous video, we seem to have these marbles that like to sit in these little pockets here, but the fact that they do that didn't seem to disrupt the flow at all. We still seem to get the, the same amount of marbles through in about the same amount of time, which is great. Uh, the other thing to note, again, as before, if you put a marble in here now, it's going it's to go right the way through all of those. Marbles can still buy power. So now with, with marbles in all of those slots, if I pass a bunch of marbles through, they can still bypass perfectly well. So what can we conclude from this test? Well, I think that what we've shown is that with this relatively minor uh, modification to the divider, just adding this extra bypass lane, we can greatly improve the flow uh, through this uh, pocket divider. Uh, it's height independent, just as the current one is, and it can cope with those flood scenarios that we saw in the live streams. But additionally, I think we've shown that this can cope with potentially the MMXT scenario where you have many more marbles flowing through here. But uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. Is this a viable alternative? Just a very simple extra lane? Or better yet, add the, yourself to the Discord and join the conversation there.